Okay, hi guys, this is a tutorial on how to do the jump to light speed effect that um, I've previously done on my channel. So, yeah, this is like the first ever tutorial. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but first off, start up, on, start up After Effects and uh, we're going to go Composition, New Composition. 24 frames a second, HDTV, 1080p, because it's going to be uploading. I'm going to call this light speed. Okay, so we've got our blank, our blank composition. First thing, next thing I'm going to do, go new and solid. So we're going to create a white solid, and this is going to be our stars. Um, so we need to go down to the effects and presets over here. And we need to find simulation and then go CC starburst and drag that guy onto there. Okay, so we want to leave all of this pretty much same as ever, but take this down to 0 0.03. Um, and we want to take the size down to 23 to make it sort of more CPU like less CPU heavy and sort of more sparse because space tends to be quite sparse so if we just quickly drag through this you can see the stars are moving towards us and flickering which is nice that's what we want and it's white stars on a black background um, so yeah so now I want to go in to this white solid that will quickly not in here but we'll quickly rename this guy stars Lovely. Um, I'm going to go into him and have a drop down and look at the effects of this. So we're going to go into the starburst effects and we're going to start animating the effects here. So at zero seconds we want the speed to vary. So basically as we're flying through space we want it like, to get faster around about here somewhere and then gradually speed up, hit the peak and then slow down really fast and come out of light speed. So that's going to be along our timeline so just sort of I figured this out just through trial and error pretty much but um, we want to just click on there and this will create a new keyframe for our speed um, so sort of at four seconds ish that's when we want our effect to start so just you don't have to be exact with this and you can fiddle around with it too so we're going to be going at 0 0.3 0 0.03 and then we're going to key in another one um, and this is where it's going to start um, and then we're going to take it maybe a second in so maybe five seconds um, and then key in another one and this is now going to become 0.44 so you'll see in the stars if you play this that it speeds up um, and then at about six six seconds six ten ish uh, another keyframe and this is where we're going to start to ease out and then we want the whole thing to be pretty much over with by about 7.10 seconds. So we're going to go back, or even a bit slower, 0 0.01, and slow down to the end. Uh, and that's sort of our end. So if you were to play this now, which I'm going to do, you see that we're twinkling away. And then it'll start to speed up. And then hit a peak. And then start to slow back down again. Now it looks very rigid at the moment, so what we're going to do is go here and keyframe assistant and ease it in. And that'll make it nice and smooth. And then we're going to ease this one out uh, to like to ease us back out of the light speed. Now from, from here it doesn't look too impressive at the moment, but uh, we've basically started, we've plotted like our travel, but we haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> um, so next thing we're going to do is go across and we're going to add another effect to this white solid stars layer and we're going to call this, this is in the echo so we're going to drag echo across and we're going to have a quick look um, so we're going to set the number of echoes down to zero um, and pull, pull our composition back to the start because we're going to be fiddling around with this so we're going to leave all of this apart from decay which I uh, change to 4.44 um, as I say that again is just to um, 
trial and error sort of thing. Um, you just sort of figure it out through through practicing pretty much. Um, so we're going to keyframe this at the start again, just same as what we just did with the start burst, and we're going to take it to around four seconds again, uh, and then we are going to keyframe it. Uh, not sorry, not the decay. We're going to keyframe. Delete that. Start. We're going to go a number of echoes. Keyframe that. When we get to four seconds, we're going to keyframe it again at zero. Then at five seconds, similar to the one above, we're going to keyframe that up to fifteen. Uh, make sure we keep keyframe. And then this one's going to keyframe up to fifteen. Then when we get to similar place to this, 16, 6.10, sorry, we're going to keyframe that up to 20. So keyframe 20. Then maybe like 10 milliseconds later, around there, we're going to keyframe again and start to climb back down. So this is going to be 14. And then by the end, at the same place as before, we're going to end keyframe back down to zero. So if we quickly scroll through this, well, I'll play through, you see it sort of start to drag the stars out. And we get like a lots of like little dots, really. Um, and it still it still looks pretty rough and it, you don't really know what's happening. But then this this is where um, this is where it gets interesting now. So we're going to add another effect down on stars. And this is going to be CC Radial Fast Blur. And we're going to drag that down to Effect. So uh, the zoom needs to be set to brightest. And the amount needs to be zero. Um, yeah, and then we're going to key in pretty much exactly the same. So started on zero with the amount on zero. When we get to around four seconds, key in another zero. And then around five seconds again, we're going to key up, this time up to 100. So this is going to where it, be where it gets blurry. And you can see there that we're starting to get our streaky stars, which is what we, will, what, what we like to see. And then we want to take this all the way through to about that 620 mark where it sort of starts slowing down and ending. We want to key in 100 again and then move it to the very end where we were before and then key that back down to zero. So if we're looking at this now, we've got, all of, we've got that sort of star streaky effect. So if we have a quick playthrough, and I know it's quite laggy because it's quite CPU heavy, um, but we can see it starts to, to to burst out at us, and it starts to look nice. And that is the basic effect there, really. So now, you may be thinking like it still looks quite like you can see this blur, and like in the in the original Star Wars effect, it's not got that that blur around the edges and stuff. The way to get around this is to create a new uh, solid and we want to call it and it wants to be a black solid this time and this this guy's going to live um, just above above the layer but as you see it's gone black here so we need to go into the toggle switches and set this guy's uh, mode to screen so we can see through him now you may be thinking like well why would you want to do that because it's just made it see through um, but then when we create an adjustment layer over the top you'll start to see why. So we're in an adjustment layer now and we're going to start adding effects to that. Um, so the first one we want to add is colour correction and we want some brightness and contrast on it. And while we're over here we'll also add um, a curve to the colour. So we can leave the curves for now but we want to push ramp the contrast up to 49 or even 50. Let's just go 50 because it's a nice round number. And you'll see there we go that we start to, to like cut out bits um, but you'll still get that sort of effect going on. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the that. And then when we go into the color curves, 
where are we? Here we are. We'll go push the reds ever so slightly. Push the greens ever so slightly. But then when we get to not the alpha, but the blue, we'll like really ramp that blue. And that's how you get that sort of that glow around the edge, you know. So now if we set the parent as well to the stars. But if we watch that now, we'll see us starting to move through space. And it's and the CPU doesn't really like it, but then we get that streaky effect and we hit light speed. And then we come out. And that is the basic effect. Now, if just to show you what this black solid layer is doing, if we pull that below, it might actually even look a bit better. In fact, it hasn't made any difference at all, really. But this black solid layer is acting as like a screen over the top of your white layer to give it its color. Um, so, like without that, you won't get the adjustment layer won't won't work basically. Um, now, another thing that I did. You can get around that, so we'll, we'll mute that layer for now. Um, and I've got this photo that I just got off Google, and it's of the stars. It's just like a sort of background image. So if we set that at the bottom, underneath our image, we'll see that, like, yeah, we've got, like, a nice sort of starry background um, to, like, to build upon. Now, and then, and then sort of, but it looks a bit fake with half of the stars moving, half of them not. So the way that I got around this is you go to the bottom and stars, and we'll get that nice little flicker. So we're going into our stars layer again. This time we're going to transform, and we're going to transform the opacity. So we're going to start on zero seconds uh, and key in a sort of 25 25% opacity. So key that in uh, to about three seconds. And then we're going to drop in another key. So we'll drop in another key there. And then we'll take it a bit further in. And then we shall key in another one. And then push it up to 100 so we can see our stars. Take it along to like 7 points. Around there, around there, just before our effect ends. And key in another 100. And then when we get out, just like a short fade pretty much, but we'll key it out to here and go to around, I don't know, like 30. And this should look cool now. So let's have a quick look. So as we get in, the effect starts, it brings up the opacity, and then we start to travel. And then we go through space, and then we come out of space and slow down, and we're on the other side. Um, and basically, we don't if we if we're putting a background behind it, we don't need this black solid layer here, so that's that's muted. But you could still you could still have it. So yeah, that's a basic and quick tutorial um, to the jump to light speed effect from Star Wars. Um, hope you guys liked it please like like comment and subscribe and all of that um, just to let you know as well that this is all done with After Effects plugins as well so there's no third party plugins used on it um, you could you could change the star uh, the starburst plugin to like a particular plugin or something like that um, but it's not necessary as you can see um, and if there's not enough stars in in here you can Simply, pre you can go in and just add the change more, add more stars basically by changing the size. Um, but it'll just start to slow your computer down <laughs> the more you add. But if you've got time to render it, it'll look it'll look more realistic. But there we go. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Um, and that was the tutorial to the jump to light speed effect.